My name is David Mook. I teach in the area of practical theology. I teach two courses right now. One is called Practical Ecclesiology, and that deals with the Book of Church Order, the constitution of our church. And the other course uh, is on worship, and those are the courses that I have at the present. On the the Book of Church Order course, which is a required course for all of our students who are under care of the Presbytery, and those are the students who are preparing for the Free Presbyterian Ministry. That course is important because in it they will learn the various procedures and other requirements that are established for the governing of the churches uh, and for the operation of the Presbytery how the Presbytery functions, what powers it has, what powers are reserved to the local congregations. The course on worship is important because uh, in it we explore the biblical foundations for worship and we talk about the way in which those scriptural uh, principles can be applied to actual settings. And we also talk about those aspects of contemporary worship that are to be avoided because they have no foundation in Scripture. In terms of uh, the work that I do outside the classroom, obviously teaching material is the best way to learn it. Uh, those who have studied find out that when they have to learn it to teach it, they learn it in a different way. So teaching the courses on worship and on practical ecclesiology they certainly have an impact on me because I'm able to have those that material internalized and that means I don't have to sit and think many times what the best thing is to do. It also helps in my work in the Presbytery where I serve as an officer uh, to be able to have in my mind a working knowledge of procedure. The, uh, <clears throat> the course on worship obviously helps just in uh, understanding the biblical background, the biblical context for what we do when our church congregation meets. The, the way the Lord worked was to bring me to a place where I had to teach at the university level when I was younger. And uh, it was through that that really I developed the skills that are needed for teaching, public speaking and other skills of that nature. And then the, the, through the years, of course, as a pastor, preaching and teaching in Bible classes and so on, uh, that was further preparation. Then I began to teach in what was then known as the Theological Hall back in the mid-90s. So I gained more classroom expertise from that point forward.